NAT. NAT stands for Network Address Translation. What is Network Address Translation? Network Address Translation, we can simply generally say that Network NAT is tran translating private IP addresses into public IP addresses. Okay. Consider in our company, all the workstations are using private IP addresses because public IP addresses are very costly and also availability is very less. So we are using private IP addresses. But if our workstations need to connect to the internet, the private IP addresses is not able to route in the internet. So we should need a public IP also. So for that, workstations need to connect to the internet. This network address translations translate the, this private IP address to the public IP address in the router or firewall. Normally, we will configure this network address translation in router or firewall. Consider a home network with three devices, a computer, a smartphone and a smart TV. Without network address translation, each of these devices would need to have a unique public IP address to connect to the internet. However, with network address translation, all these devices can share a single public IP address and communicate with the internet by using their private IP addresses. When one of the devices sends a request to the internet, network address translates the private IP address of the device into the public IP address of the network and send to the request over the internet. There are three types of network address translation. One is static, dynamic and port address translation or PAT. Let's check what is static NAT. Static NAT is one to one mapping of private IP address to a public IP address. Static NAT is useful when a network device inside a private network needs to be accessible from internet. Consider we have a web server. This web, this web server is currently situated inside our local area network. This web, web server needed to access the employees in our company also the public. So we will assign we will assign a public IP address for this web server. We will map this web server to a single unique public IP. Okay. For this web server, only this public IP will use. Here, this, the private IP of this web server is 172.192.122.170. But the the clients the clients from public want to connect this web server. They will get they will connect to the they will not connect to the private IP address. From here we will translate this this public to private IP address. They, they, this server will connect to the public IP address of this server. That means 108.160.236.251. When this server have to reply for the connections, the same situation the data transfer here and from this router this public this private ip is translated to this public ip address 10.160.236.251 but here the the main thing is this public ip address is mapped to only for this web server ip address that is static net and the second one is dynamic net Dynamic NAT can be defined as mapping of a private IP address to a public IP address from a group of public IP addresses called a NAT pool. Dynamic NAT establishes a one-to-one -one mapping between a private IP address to a public IP address. Here the public IP address is taken from the pool of IP addresses configured on the end NAT router. The public to private mapping may vary based on the available public IP address in NAT pool. Okay, consider this is our diagram. This is from this part is public public internet. This is our private internet. We have four workstations. Each of them have private IP addresses. This is our router. This is the public 
sorry this is the public ip address pool we have 10 public ip addresses 10.0 108.160.236.230 until 239 total 10 ip public ip pool we have this all 10 ip pool is paid our company bought from the isp by paying the money for but for this pri private ip address no need to pay any money we can use any IP, any private ip in our company network no issue so when this device need to connect to the internet when this data reach here this router translate its ip from any any available public ip from this pool okay from maybe that time once 230 is available it will assign 230 maybe that 230 is already work, working with the any other at the same time any other workstation it will give 231 until 239 okay but you consider we have we have only 10 public ip we have more than 10 workstations these more than 10 workstations at same time needed to connect internet the 10 workstations only will connect to the internet the other workstation the data will drop at the same time because we have only 10 public ip addresses that is the drawback of this dynamic network address translation also and the most famous one in everywhere we are using for network address translation is port address translation the main thing is this is cost effective and cheap because we have to we needed only one public ip for this network address translation but here the source and destination is identifying based on the port number Port address translation is a type of dynamic network address translation which can map multiple private IP addresses to a single IP address by using a technology known as port address translation. Here when a client from inside network, inside network communicate to a host in the internet, the router changes the source port. Router changes the source port number with another port number. This port mapping are kept in the table when a router receives from the internet it will refer the table which keep the in which keep the port mappings and forward the data packets to the original sender okay consider this is our diagram we have four uh, private ips when this workstation needed to connect this web server this data comes to this router and the ip address should be 108.160.230 6.240 and along with that router will assign a port number for this workstation okay and this data go to this server and the data when returns back router already noted the port number on the mapping so router, when the data returns back router will check that port number so router will identify this workstation and the data returns to this workstation this is the working principle of private port address translation.